Here are 10 science stories from 2023. Researchers supported by the U.S. National Science Foundation have developed a wearable, haptic fabric that convert electronic commands into pressure. This translates these commands to inflate pouches with varying force to deliver complex haptic cues such as vibration, tapping and squeezing. A popular television series launches a public fascination with cordyceps and their ability to create zombies. They are unique in fungi because of the way they establish infections. And what's kind of gruesome about cordyceps is that they will start to digest the non-essential parts of the host first, so the host can have a really long-lived infection. And they also produce these chemical signals to cause alterations in the host behavior. One in three heart disease patients die from complications in the weeks or months following a traumatic heart event. An experimental device has been developed that is placed directly on the heart and can provide physicians with real-time health data. The postage stamp size device fully dissolves within the body after monitoring is complete, eliminating the need for additional removal surgery. The quantum realm continues its journey from science fiction to areas of study like computing, physics and our universe. Most people will think of quantum physics as just the theory of the subatomic realm. But to me, the most interesting aspect of quantum physics, when you dig into the mathematics of it, and the foundations of it, is that it is a theory of knowledge. It is probably the most incredible theory that humanity has come across, stumbled across, I would say, to try to understand everything that is around us, including space and time itself, the Webb Telescope discovers six potential galaxies in the early history of the universe that are so massive they shouldn't be possible according to our current cosmological theory. The uniqueness of these new findings is that we are in the very early universe at a time where our current understanding of how galaxies form and how supermassive black holes form is telling us that we don't have enough time after the Big Bang event to have created these very large galaxies and supermassive black holes. So we're in discovery phase at the moment. The icy continent of Antarctica remains one of the world's last frontiers. NSF-supported scientists work to discover and understand what secrets lie beneath the ice drilling to sample subglacial lakes. Oh my God, there's life in this lake. And there's not just life, there's a, it's teeming with life. It's diverse. We were able to drop a camera into the lake. And that was like landing on the moon for the first time seeing that, it was, it was incredible. A nuclear fusion breakthrough occurs when a fusion ignition test generates a net energy gain. To get fusion energy, especially here on Earth, as opposed to on the Sun, there are lots and lots of things that have to go right for us to be able to extract energy in a continuous, sustainable, predictable way. If we can ever get there, it is, it is a very bright, promising future. In a first-of-its-kind experiment, researchers tested gravity's effect on antimatter. It was shown that antihydrogen atoms, or antimatter, released from magnetic confinement in the Alpha-G apparatus behave in a way consistent with gravitational attraction to the Earth. The emergence of generative AI chatbots pushes artificial intelligence into the mainstream. AI chatbots have existed since the very beginning of the field. If you simply train a large machine learning model, what you discover is that you can kind of have conversations with the system that comes out. You can set it up with a question and then it can actually fill in the answer. Now you get out an incredibly fluid, lucid kind of chatbot. Unfortunately, it has some complementary weaknesses in that we don't really know what they're gonna say next, right? It really is determined by the statistics of the words that the systems were trained on. The NSF-supported Nanograv collaboration team revealed a major discovery about our universe of the detection of a background of gravitational waves washing through the galaxy, stretching the fabric of space-time between the stars. Space and time used to be separate concepts. They were unified by Einstein in this four-dimensional concept known as space-time. And what we call gravity is a byproduct of mass or energy warping space and time. 